for giving me an opportunity to contribute on this very important report. Mr. Speaker, although Makueni County is not named here, and this was uh, up to 2020, 2019 to 2020, I'm sure the next report, Mr. Speaker, will include uh, Makueni County. Uh, but most important, Ma Makueni County, Kitui County, and Machakos Counties are served by River Athi, among other rivers, which by, whereby River Athi goes through Nairobi. One of the worst things which has happened to this river is that raw sewage, and especially by the honey suckers, is released, uh, uh, you know, fresh to this river. There has been an effort to clean up River Athi in Nairobi. I've seen uh, the president launching cleanup uh, projects, but as soon as he leaves, the people who are supposed to, to clean the river, they also live with him. And therefore, it becomes like a, a PR exercise, and the water downstream continues to be dirty. With the, with the sewer range systems in Nairobi, uh, last week, and even the last two weeks, there have been really raw sewage water to River Athi, and it is green through Machakos, Kitui, and Makweni. And most unfortunately, Mr. Speaker, uh, a lot of Kenyans use this water. It is used by many water companies uh, in Makweni. And therefore, we must come up with a system to make sure that there is clean, safe water uh, be consumed by the people in Kenya. Mr. Speaker, there is water storage, and the water is devolved under Schedule 4 of the Constitution. But unfortunately, the national government is still holding 90% of all the water systems. The counties have not received their monies in the last four months. And it must be very frustrating for a governor to sit in the county. You want to deliver water to the people, uh, and, and uh, you have no money to do this. Mr. Speaker, there are boreholes. Most of them mismanaged through these companies. Most of the money collected and stolen by individuals. We in Makweni, out of the water companies from the last report, only the Kibwezi one, uh, which is somewhere on Mombasa Road near Kibwezi town, seems to have performed better. The rest, you could not account for the monies. Uh, you could not account for so many things, and yet a lot of money has been put into these water companies. So what do we need to do, Mr. Speaker? The country needs water. I've heard, start, I started hearing it from the Moira in 1986, when I was in primary school, uh, that every home is going to have clean water. Up to today, water is still far away from most homesteads in Kenya. Uh, piped water is still not available to every homestead in Kenya. And yet, Mr. Speaker, is a very cheap way. It's, it's the easiest thing to do if the government seriously invested in water fast. You rather even stop all the other projects. Deal with water fast. Get water to the people. And then next, go do the roads to the people. Probably by doing that way, then uh, it, it will become much better. You will improve in education. You will improve in agriculture. You will have enough food for the people. And then do the roads so that the same can be transported to marketing places. Otherwise, Mr. Speaker, although there are good policies, they have not been implemented. The people of Kenya have waited patiently for, water into their, for clean water into their homesteads. It has not happened, and it does not seem to be inside uh, soon. Thwaka Dam, which has been talked about by quite a number of contributors here, is 94% done, but now stalled for the last two years. I am pushing the government. I was there recently. Uh, it is very expensive to delay a water project because the contractors are on site and they are charging the country. And it is not the only one. There were quite a number of them, the Macha Dam, uh, the Northern Collector, and all of them, Mr. Speaker, seem to have stalled. So when will we give Kenyans water in their homes? So all these dams, the, the Fakir Dam was supposed to give water to Kitui, Machakos, and Makueni, even water for irrigation. When will this happen and this is fertile land uh, where farmers can grow a lot of food and can become the food basket of Kenya and then can even sell abroad because agriculture and agribusiness are one of the biggest businesses Kenyans can invest in and uh, every household has a meal every day and has some extra money to, to send children to school. Mr. Speaker, this matter of water must be taken very seriously by this house and by the government. We must have a proper law. We must actuate and make actual uh, the delivery of um, water services to the people. We must make sure that the pending co uh, uh, you know, projects are completed. I am wondering why the Treasury is frustrating the Ministry of Water so much. Why the Treasury is frustrating the county so much. Why can't 
money is going to the counties be given priority so that the uh, governors can prioritize on water. When you look at the no trash water, uh, which the center for Naroko was talking about, it comes from somewhere Mount Kilimanjaro. For many years, it went to water flowers of individuals. And then the, mo the moment it was supplied to the communities around Kajado and Makwene, then it became another big problem. And corruption, serious corruption, have riddled uh, these water companies. There are as many corrupt officials as you can get. There is no capacity even to try them. ESCC does not seem to have a capacity to deal with this. Uh, and uh, and uh, even the police does not seem to have capacity to deal with uh, uh, the corruption in water services company. It is a high time uh, Kenyans became responsible uh, where they work, where they deal with water, so that uh, there is no stealing. And the money is collected. I want to finish on this. The money is collected. If you can have a system, like an MPESA system, you know, pay bill system, then all these monies will be collected into one place and the account can be seen and can be accounted for. And the counties uh, can make sure it is accountable. We need to invest in that so that we have enough monies to continue investing in water. And I really want to urge that let Treasury release monies related to Twake, release monies to the counties, and let's give people clean water uh, in the country so that uh, we can have a healthy nation and we can use it to do agriculture and we can use it to grow the nation. I thank you, Mr. Speaker. Senator Abbas Sheikh Mohammed. Um, thank you, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, I want to also join the other members to support the report. Honorable Speaker, I think the report, I want to commend the committee first for the excellent work they have done because 